Today marks 21 years since a Penn State student vanished, a case that remains unsolved in Center County. Her name is Cindy Song, and her case is where we begin our new series, The Unsolved. Action 16 investigates Stacy Lang tells us about Cindy and the connection her case has to another in our area. Thousands of students from all over the world find their home for four years on the campus of Penn State University Park in State College. In 2001, Cindy Song was one of them. She was born and raised in South Korea, attended high school in Virginia, then set her sights on Penn State, where she was studying integrative arts. And on Halloween night in 2001, just like many of her peers, Cindy went out with friends. Dressed as a bunny, she attended a party at a bar on West College Avenue. Hours later, her friends dropped her off at her apartment complex. That was the last time she was seen. Investigators said Cindy's cell phone was left in her apartment, but her purse and wallet were gone. The case went cold quickly, but got a lead almost exactly two years later. That lead brought police from Center County to Luzerne County to investigate an alleged connection to one of our area's most notorious criminals. Newswatch 16's John Meyer spoke with the lead investigator on Cindy's case back then about a tip that she was kidnapped and killed by Hugo Zielinski. This is uh, giving us a little bit more hope into the case and, and this has been our best lead and we're gonna follow it up until we can either prove it or disprove it. Zielinski is a convicted murderer and robber from Luzerne County. The tip tying him to the Song case came from one of Zielinski's co-conspirators in a double murder, Paul Weekly. Investigators were never able to connect Zielinski to Cindy Song and just like the rest of her case, that lead also went cold. But police in Center County and Cindy's family in South Korea have not abandoned the search for answers. The Ferguson Township Police Department in Center County is still in charge of Cindy Song's case. They did not want to be interviewed, but said the case is still open and active. The department formed a cold case task force because of Cindy that has resulted in charges in one other case from 2016, which is set to go to trial in the coming months. Stacy Lang, Action 16 Investigates.